Spanish Supreme Court call for the respect of separation of powers in response to the use of the Council of Law for winning the pact between Pedro Sanchez and Jones for Catalonia. The Spanish judiciary recalled that the rule of law demands absolute respect for the division of the powers and rejected the supervision of oversight of the jurisdictional functions by all the other branches of the states. The judiciary statement comes after the amnesty bill agreed between the Catalan party and Sanchez considered to set up a commission to establish the release of imprisoned Catalan pro independence politicians, taking into account situations derived from the law for abudization of politics. The Spanish Supreme Court finally reiterated that this ruling is in accordance with the law and ensures equality in supplication. The investiture vote for Pedro Sanchez's new term as head of government in Spain has already its dates the 15th and 16th of November. At the same time, the People's Party has called for new elections in demonstrations jointly organized for the far right. A correspondent in Spain, Sergio Rodrigo, with the story. The People's Party has called again on its supporters in more than 50 cities throughout Spain, attacking the new government to which it has urged to submit once again to the people's sovereignty. We will continue. We will not give up. We will not shut up until we can speak in an election, where we can all have our say again, and where we can all again vote, because what is being done is the opposite to what we have voted for. Why are we afraid of elections? Why are they afraid of the polls? Hundreds of thousands of people all over Spain have rallied against the deal between the Socialist Party and the Catalan Nationalists, which considers the approval of an amnesty law. If he wants to pacify Catalonia, he cannot do it at the expense of dividing Spain. You are bringing about a confrontation of the society, which I find absolutely unacceptable, wary and alarming. Experts affirm that the protests are the reaction to the right-wing narrative of selling a coup after the socialist path with independence and nationalist forces in Spain. In view of the formation of the new government, which would be headed again by Pedro Sánchez from the Socialist Party, with the support of left-wing groups, Catalan pro-independence groups and Basque nationalists, the right wing in Spain has reacted in a vicious way, trying to frame these bags as a sort of a coup d'etat. While protests are being called against the amnesty law, all kinds of ultra-right groups are taking over the demonstrations on the streets. These calls are being attended by all sorts of right-wing and far-right-wing groups that have ever existed in Spain, from people sympathetic to these parties to neo-Nazis or openly pro-Franco groups. Spain is going through one of the most stormy governments formation in recent decades, which will finally lead to a social democratic government in coalition with the left. Sergio Rodrigo Lucía Muñoz, Telesur, Andalucía, España.